An ancient philosopher once said, the man who chases two rabbits catches neither. But as a PhD researcher, this is easier said than done. As a lot of times, I think about food while working and think about work while eating. Fortunately, this juggling has proved beneficial towards my cause. As my favorite food, the pizza has been quite an inspiration. I work on solar cells, the devices that generate electricity from the sun and hold a, sorry, hold a great promise for the future as they do not harm our environment. Most of the solar cells today are made up of silicon and their process of making mimics that of making a pizza. As a pizza starts with a base and is then covered with a bunch of toppings, solar cells starts with a base of silicon and they're then topped up with a couple of thin layers on top. We all know that our pizzas doesn't taste the same after being in the fridge for a few days. But what if I tell you that solar cells have a similar problem? Their ability to absorb sunlight and generate electricity actually reduces after being out in the sun for a few years. And although losing a slice or two of a pizza is just a matter of a few bucks, losing about 10% of this otherwise generated electricity accounts for about $2.1 billion every year. So in my PhD, I'm trying to find new ways to reduce this degradation in the cells and to make cells that will perform their best throughout their time span. And for ideas, I again turn up to my good old friend, the pizza as the flavor of the pizza can be controlled with our choice of topping. My research shows that I can improve the long-term performance of my cells by carefully controlling these thin layers on top of them. So how am I doing it? So far, I have found two new solutions as shown on the graph in my slide. Number one, I have observed that this degradation in the cells can be minimized by reducing the thickness of these layers. In perspective, it's how if you apply a little less tomato sauce on the pizza, you can prevent it from going soggy. Number two, I've also observed that I can improve the long-term performance of my cells by carefully reversing the order of these layers. Exactly how placing the cheese slice before the sauce or above it makes a difference for the pizza. By incorporating these simple yet crucial techniques in the industry, we can make better improved solar cells, saving billions and billions of dollars in clean electricity generation. And then in the end, I can successfully defend my PhD and we can all leave the next generations with tastier pizzas and a healthier planet. Thank you.